Well, I'm more partial to rain as opposed to wind. Kevin. That would be so nice, right? And again, those fires ongoing here in eastern North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota as well, where there is that red flag warning, as Megan just mentioned here. But even in areas where there has not been for today, like in northeast Boltman County here. But again, temperatures are dropping. That's a good thing. We actually want that now. Brings dew point or brings the amount of moisture in the air up here. And even if it's not raining, conditions will be improving. Even for tomorrow here, uh, despite the best chance for showers will be in central and eastern North Dakota. But overall, things are looking pretty good here. Moisture for the western states. If this were only a pattern that would lock in, it's one and done because we're going right back to a dry and above normal temperature pattern, probably close out October. So we'll take what we can get, just not much. But we are looking for the chance for showers with the increasing clouds advancing through North Dakota. Next several hours here, it'll be after midnight towards central and eastern North Dakota with these showers advancing through Montana right now. Good news though for northern Wyoming with the elk fire, at least there is moisture. Even in the form of snow, we don't have to worry about that here, but the bighorns do have snow in Wyoming. And several of the mountain ranges in Utah, Colorado, even northern New Mexico. Good stuff, right? Because you want to see some moisture. And with the fires going on, snow is the best thing for a fire. Locally, okay, we're not going to have snow anytime soon, but we'll take any moisture we can get. And again, a lot of it here, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. This storm is just uh, not a sign of things to come for a while, though. This is it. And again, we're getting some of those scraps, as I mentioned, really no measurable precip expected along US 2, but from south, far southwest through central North Dakota at an angle here, all the way up to the northeast part of the state. We could see pockets of a tenth of an inch. It simply does not mean every square mile is going to have a tenth, a tenth of an inch here in this darker green. It just means the chance is more elevated. It's a higher probability than areas that surround it. We have been abnormally dry, of course, with our ongoing and expanding drought. In fact, in northeast Montana, northwest North Dakota, we are in that extreme classification also here in Bowman and Slope counties. Meanwhile, now I did not make this graphic uh, as far as uh, determining the drought severity, but I just don't think this seems right because we all know in central and parts of eastern North Dakota, it is bone dry really statewide. So I'm kind of surprised by this, but uh, again, it is what it is. As far as the outlook through tomorrow, looking at the chance for showers continuing into central North Dakota. You don't like that, Alan? Looking at a chance for a few showers here for tomorrow into the morning time frame and afternoon as well. But the chances for rain will only be short lived as we'll see drier weather work into the area by three o'clock in the afternoon. Best chance central North Dakota points east here. High pressure moving in and that means back to a lot of sunshine and time for the weekend. And that also means another warm up on the way. But for tomorrow, best chance 50% chance of showers mainly southern North Dakota sunshine Saturday and Sunday as we're once again running well above normal beyond tomorrow temperature wise. You're right. It is what it is. <laughs> it is, what it is. is what it is. But I think winter is right around the corner. Definitely <laughs> is. Yes.